got here quite late last night. Literally just like dumped her bags down, went and had a look for a shop. Found a 7-Eleven, but it was, but it wasn't closed, was it? There was a sign up that said toilet. We waited like 10 minutes and no one had come, so we kind of presumed they just sacked it off for a little bit. But it was just as midnight was hitting and it is Harry Raya today. It's like the end of Ramadan celebrations. <laughs> and therefore at midnight last night there were loads and loads of fireworks. So yeah, we were just stood outside the 7-Eleven for like 15 minutes or so, weren't we? Yeah. Well, we were watching the fireworks and stuff and then we gave up and came back and went to bed. We are going to do a little Airbnb tour and then we're going to get some breakfast. You come straight into the living room slash kitchen slash diner. It's quite compact but for the two of us, it's fine. It's actually the cleanest one we've been in, I'd say. A little shower. It's, yeah, just quite a small little compact bathroom. But it's fine. This is the bedroom, which is really nice, isn't it? Oh, it's got really a really nice view of the water and everything. Yeah, and really nicely, like, decorated and stuff. It's got loads of storage, so there's loads of... <laughs> <laughs> the door won't shut. <laughs> So yeah, there's loads of storage in here and there's loads of storage in the kitchen diner as well. Whoa, this is bright. So this is the pool for our building and then we're just surrounded by loads of other apartment buildings. You can see the sea in the distance which is really nice. Oh, you can see the bridge as well. Yeah, I saw that this morning. We're just going to go and get some breakfast now and have a little explore around Town. <laughs> Come out for breakfast. What have you got? Mamak me. Mamak me. Six ringgit. I haven't got anything because I'm struggling to adjust to eating food like this for breakfast. So I just said Jacob might as well just get something and then I'll go and get something from somewhere else. Is it spicy or? Not really. It's got like quite a sweet sauce. But it's like the sweet. It smells quite sweet. Kind of sauce which you get with the crispy beef. Oh yeah. The other day. Yeah. What you got? Got a little turtle. A little turtle. What was it? A cheese? Yeah, like sweet cheese. That's just bun. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming there's going to be like cheese in the middle. Oh yeah. Well, it's like yellowy. Although that one in the other bakery was, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I don't think it is sweet. Oh really? I can't really tell. It reminds me of something. Cheese? Yeah, <laughs> like a certain type of cheese. I like the bun. I don't know how I feel about the cheese. We're just having a look around and every corner there's a bunch of food places to eat at. Dora one ton me places, I didn't manage to get one in KL. So hopefully we'll be able to get some one ton me here. Zesty twist and tutti frutti. Should we just mix them up? I'll let you do it. Oh, <laughs> good start. This is our first 7 Eleven Slurpee. It's very light, soft, isn't it? 
Oh, you can put more in it now. Dinner. Okay, we're gonna go to a place downstairs. It's Korean barbecue. Yeah. Which I've not had before. We don't know if it's gonna be open though because of Harry Raya. No. <laughs> so the Korean place didn't turn out well. Yeah, it was closed. Yeah. Closed. Basically, we've been eating so cheaply that now we. Normal food prices just. Yeah, we're like. We're not paying that. But we've got to remember, we actually haven't got jobs at the moment. So I think it's fair enough. Oh, look at that sky. It's like, I don't think you can tell on here, but it's like really like peachy. Are we going? Remember that we haven't got jobs at the moment. So we do have to be careful with our money. I feel like there were quite a lot of restaurants up here. There were like a lot of street stalls, like one time me and stuff like that. I'm so I know, you said about 50 times. Old town white coffee? No. He's finally got his one ton me, which he's been waiting for since we arrived How in perfect Malaysia. Look yeah, I like the look of the, is it char, 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 char It does look good. Look He's been again. so excited Ooh. about having this. He has been looking for it everywhere. So if we don't get a good reaction now. Mm. It's good. Same when it is noodles, with, is it like in like a soy sauce? I don't really know. I think it is like a soy sauce of some sort, but like a mix. With char then, which is pork. Like marinated pork. It's also got like one ton dumplings. It's got a couple of like chilies and stuff. I think they're like pig jalapenos. But yeah, it's good. Mine has arrived. This is clay pot chicken rice with egg. I've not actually had this before, but it's chicken rice, egg. And what are these? Is that like bacon or something? I don't actually know, but yeah, it looks like fat or something, like bacon fat. It looks good. All cooked in the clay pot. It's quite cool, it's in like this little pot. Okay, I'll give it a try. Oh. Yeah, it's good. We've taken a little grab ride in search of dessert. Hopefully some kind of ice cream. You're happy now, you're proud of yourself. I'm not proud of myself for <laughs> finding an ice cream. And anyway, clearly, Ice cream's not a big thing over here because we're on a seafront. Well, not a seafront, but a waterfront. Very busy. And there's not one ice cream shop. So I had to get this from 7 Eleven. Yeah, it's good. In that. In that. <laughs> that means good. No, it means tasty. Oh, no, wait, no, it means tasty, yeah. Tasty. <laughs> Telescope. This is the next one, the next one. Ten or so? Ten, ten? You got that in English. I want to look. That's a pretty cool thing though. On the sidewalk, just some random old bloke just kind of sharing his little astrology thing. Got a map out of it and everything. Like he just set it up to look at the middle of Penang Bridge, but yeah, it's pretty cool. You could see obviously all the cars going past. milkshake and our sky juice we saw sky juice on the menu and it was really cheap <laughs> it was like 50 cent it's like 10p and it said single 50 cent and we were like sky juice like what's that and i was i thought it was going to be a shot of like ginger or something yeah. got it and here it is it's water <laughs> we think it is literal sky juice water now we've realized rain water like sky oh. juice it's nice and cold. Oh, good. Okay. But this is, so is that nice. good? Don't try. Yeah. Oh, that does taste really good. It doesn't taste that coconutty, I don't think. It's like quite sweet and like creamy. Right, we're gonna get a grab. Yeah. Put it at night. Far too much fun now that we've had sky juice. Party is just starting. We're taking this back home. 
<laughs> next morning we are we are off to Georgetown today oh I grabs it yeah we've come to Georgetown today we are looking for laptop shops because Jacob said we had a laptop just to make everything all a bit easier so that we can both do stuff at the same time and I can work whilst he's doing other bits so yeah we're gonna have a look at a laptop see how much they are we thought we were in Georgetown until we were looking this morning and then realised that we're not actually in Georgetown. We're just, we're just outside. outside of Georgetown. So we've now driven into Georgetown. So we've headed to Liang Sandwich Bar, decided to get the satay chicken sandwich. It looks good. It looks quite greasy. No, it's nice. I'd say it doesn't really taste like satay though. Oh. It's like, it just tastes like chicken. What we got? So we got a crispy squid bento box from Squid Boy. Oh yeah. No, it does taste It's a bit like sweet. a little bit sweet, isn't it? Yeah, it tastes nice though. Yeah, it's like good sweet. <laughs> what is he doing in Yeah. Jacob was on upstage. <laughs> Massively. <laughs> but now they're just playing in time with each other. <laughs> it's dinner time. What have you got? So we've got the seafood fried rice. And I've gone for Hainanese chicken rice. We've got the chili sauce. Some green sprouts, which I absolutely hate green sprouts. I've got some of the mango sticky rice. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of like rice pudding. It's like sticky rice. Mm, it's like sweet. We're in a grab at the moment. We just shout out the, the grab driver. Welcome to Benin. What is your name? Uh, Andrew. Our, our very kind grab driver. <laughs> who's given us all the recommendations for Penang. Basically, when they were kids, loads of people used to come up and ask to take photos of them, like the boys when they were children. Still out. But Still no one's asked to take a photo of Jacob this time. We've been in Malaysia, what, about a week and a half now, and it hasn't happened yet. And then today, it just happened to be. She basically by... got dared by her friends to go and take a photo with the whitest girl possible. That was it. Jacob wasn't with me at the time, I was on my own. Yeah, convenient that. Convenient. Yeah. I didn't know what she meant at first. I was like, I'll take a photo of you. Because she might have been saying, like, can you take a photo of me? And then she was like, oh, I'll take a photo with you. And I was like, yeah. So that was quite cute. Yeah. He's just feeding me because nobody has asked to take a photo of him.
are at Kexilock Temple. Kexilock Temple. We went to Penang Hill this morning. There was a lot more there than we thought there was going to be. We took the tram thing up to the top, which was a very busy. So they had like different carriages and they proper crammed us in it. But when we got to the top it was really nice. There was lots to kind of look at and see. Now we've come here. What kind of temple is it? Is it Buddhist? Buddhist. Uh, I think it must be I Buddhist because yeah, I saw lots be. of Buddhas in the gift shop. It's actually quite cool up here which is nice. It's very peaceful as well. And we're going to make our way up to the top I think. Are I, we? Don't really know, <laughs> I don't know how much higher you can go but did you not see the big temple thing up the top? Oh, over there? Yeah. Yeah. Right, should we go and carry on exploring? Yeah. last lift up to the temple on the hill we saw all the ones like that were lower down there was ones that were higher up but the last lift was at like five o'clock or something yeah we got there at like 20 past and they were like there's no point did they say it was like six ringgit to go up there or something yeah she was saying by the time you go up there you're gonna have to come back down again we want to get back down to the town basically we're gonna go and look for some dinner we are so excited because we're finally our first night market Pasamalam. Pasamalam. We've been wanting to come to a night market ever since we got here, but we just always kind of managed to miss the days and whatnot because there are only certain nights in certain like towns Locations. or whatever. Yeah. We asked if there was any other Pasamalams and they said, oh, there is one which is here in Macallum. It's a bit smaller, but yeah. we are fine with that. So yeah, we're going to have a wander around, get some dinner. Are we just going to try everything? <laughs> All right, yeah, can be. Yeah. I'm just so excited to be here and try different things. It's just Right, here we just got back from the Pasamalan. Here is what we got. Mochi, which is basically mochi, but it's got loads of peanut over it. It's the best. Char pack, which is similar to char kway tiao, which is with noodles. I think it's fried rice cakes with like seafood. Dim sum. You said they were pork? Yeah, I asked the woman, I was like, oh, is this one shumai? Because it looks like the dim sum called shumai. And she's like, they're all shumai. So. <laughs> They are prawn flavoured chicken. Mm, so we've got peach passion with yeah, passion fruit. Explosive pearls. Bubbles. In your mouth. And then sweet and sour. Sweet and sour, but it doesn't look the most appealing. It'll so. be fine. It's really weird. We've just come to the street art alley in Penang. Literally got out of the grab and it's tipping it down now. We're going to have a little wander around. We 
been wandering around this street art place. The shop we just went in was just purely cat. It was just so funny to have a shop dedicated to cats. Such effort they've gone to to make the shop look cool. Lots of tourists around. It's quite busy and lots of shops that seem to be catered more towards Western people. Lots of like dessert places, which we haven't found a lot in Malaysia, so I'm loving it. Dinner time. Second dinner time. <laughs> we had lunch quite late, so I'm not actually that hungry at the moment. What have you got? I've got Indomie Pinyet. This is Sotong Goreng Pon Pinyet. So I think this is Indomie noodles with chicken, some pretty cool corn crackers and chilli, but I don't know how hot it's going to be. And squid. <laughs> going to end this video here. Tomorrow we are flying again to Kota Kinabalu and yeah this ends our stay in Penang. It's been good. We've really enjoyed it here haven't yeah. we? I feel like there's so many things that we've not done which we could still come back I'd and come do. Back here, yeah. The Airbnb was really nice. Where we, where the Airbnb was is really busy. There's been so many good food places haven't there? So, yeah, so the many. street food's been the best here. Yeah. Like the night market was really good. Even today when we went to the street art place, there were hawker centers there as well, weren't there? So we've just well, mainly enjoyed eating here. <laughs> what did that grab driver say to us? Penang is food paradise. Yeah. He was right. So yeah, we've really enjoyed it here. I would definitely come back at some point. We'll see you in Kota Kinabalu. See ya. You're right there. You're trying to get out of the shot. <laughs> <laughs>